Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Rennell Reed Show. I am Rennell Reed, and I'm going to be talking to you today about something that we hear quite a lot about. Cholesterol. That's right, cholesterol. And I'll be telling you the truth about it. Mm -hmm. Now, let me get started. Most all of you have been scammed by the drug companies into thinking that if you have high cholesterol, oh my goodness, you need to lower it. Not true. That you could come down with heart disease and heart attack. Mm -hmm. And um, so let me tell you the truth. The fact is, Cholesterol is good for you. You want to have a lot of cholesterol. It's healthy for you. Without it, you're in deep trouble from a health standpoint. All right. So the research says that you have two types of cholesterol. LDL, which is low density lipoproteins, and HDL which is high-density lipoproteins. But the scam is that you need to reduce all of your cholesterol if you want to be healthy. Now they say, the research says that LDL is bad cholesterol and HDL is good cholesterol. But the but there really is no such thing as good or bad cholesterol. So, and uh, the amount of cholesterol you have, it does not cause heart disease. It does not cause blockages in the arteries or arterial sclerosis or any of that. It is true that cholesterol does attach itself to the inside of your arteries but only when the arteries are damaged if your arteries are not damaged the cholesterol will just go through your blood without any problem at all and you'll never need bypass surgery and let me tell you something here's the shocker there are people with 100 cholesterol counts, completely low, but they are dropping dead from heart attacks and they need bypass surgery. See, because it's not the amount of cholesterol you have. Um, the LDL is the cholesterol that will attach itself to the artery if your artery is scarred, healing and protecting that artery, basically saving your life. Over time, the buildup is the problem. Now, how do you solve the problem? There are natural alternatives to bypass surgery as well, like chelation. There is oral chelation, all natural supplements that you can take that open up and clear out the arteries. And there is intravenous for those who are very severe. You would never need bypass surgery. So we need to know what causes the damage on the arteries. And that's hydrogenated oils or trans fats. Look at your food at the supermarket that you're buying. Almost always loaded with partially hydrogenated oil or, or hydrogenated oil that causes damage on the arteries. Number two, homogenized dairy products. But you might say, I'm eating healthy. I'm eating 1% milk or skin milk. The, the, folks, the, the amount of fat is irrelevant. The fact is that the milk is 
homogenized and not only and also loaded with antibiotics and growth hormone which which will make you fat and when you eat any any homogenized dairy milk butter or cheese it's been broken down into small particles that don't exist in nature called xenide oxidates and those scar the inside of the arteries so therefore your LDL is attaching itself in the, on the inside third thing that causes damage on the arteries is chlorine in the water chlorinated water that you shower that you bathe in or swim in and and uh, water that you bathe in and swim in chlorine when when you are in a swimming pool and uh, the, the, the chlorine in the water in the, in the swimming pool causes scarring on the arteries. So your LDL cholesterol will attach itself. And it doesn't matter if you have higher or low amounts of LDL. But you need lots of cholesterol for brain health and for joint health and to prevent cancer. And the reason why I say this, I just looked at a new report that just came out saying high levels of HDL cholesterol is a massive immune system booster and it goes after cancer cells and prevents cancer. So you want a lot of cholesterol and so and if you're on any statins, Lipitor, Crestor, you've been scammed. Mm -hmm. And although it may reduce your cholesterol, it does nothing to prevent you from getting a heart attack or stroke. And when you take Lipitor or Crestor, it is causing you massive health problems because it destroys your liver it leads to cancer it leads to stroke it messes up your your brain function it throws off your testosterone and hormone levels it's absolutely terrible and so now we know that well I hope I hope I sorta of, got you to know the truth well I'll see you again soon on my next show goodbye thank you for watching goodbye